We've got the state of Nevada that manages the wildlife here. We've got the state of Utah. We're trying to capture sheep and to share those sheep with the state of Utah and their bighorn restoration program. Young Living a, as a corporation, Skyrider, our, our big focus is conservation. So the state said, hey, would you be open to letting us have a nursery herd of desert bighorn sheep live inside your enclosure? It's like, well, yeah, that sounds awesome. So we fly around, locate a herd of sheep. We got to move those sheep into a good position. That it, we jump out, bag them up. Once they pick them up from the helicopter, they get a weight. 55, 56. We got a vet from Nevada, a vet from Utah, and a bazillion volunteers. They'll uh, take temperature, look at the overall health of the animal. They do disease testing, put a collar and ear tag on them, and put them in the trailer. <laughs> Desert bighorn are a cool species. There's not as many. I mean, there used to be, you know, thousands and thousands in the state of Utah years and years ago. So they've got a new concept over in Utah where they're going to have a nursery facility where they can take these animals and then they'll, they'll breed, they'll give birth to lambs, and they can use that to repopulate areas that don't have any bighorn left. What makes Skyrider unique and like a proper candidate for this is geographically we are pretty far removed from any other herds of domesticated sheep. We're protected from any disease entering into this herd. They're clean, they're disease free, and they're a sheep we can bring and, you know, spread across the state for, for everybody to enjoy. Conservation is important to me. So, like doing this, my kids will be able to see sheep, their kids will be able to see sheep, and we're a part of it. You know, we didn't just, we're like, we actually participated in a monumental moment in the conservation of desert sheep. And I, and you could feel it. You could just like, yes, you know, this is cool.